Hey guys, this is Swordfish. Today I'm playing Minecraft. I just spent a little time since the last episode. Oh my god, I have so many cows. I should probably kill a bunch of these. I spent um, a whole bunch of time since the last episode in my skeleton grinder. Um, I got another 30 levels. I actually got way more than 30 levels. What I did was... Oh, my reeds are... My reeds are happy. I need books. I may... Now, I said that... So, first of all, what I did was... I combined my two diamond picks. And since I did that, I realized that was probably a huge waste of diamonds. But... That's okay. Um, that's okay. I'm not... Like... I'm gonna find diamonds. I guess I probably shouldn't get cocky and say that because now I won't ever find any more diamonds, but um, I expect I'm gonna find some diamonds, like realistically speaking. So it's not a huge deal if I uh, if I waste a couple and combining because now this efficiency four on breaking three silk touch one pick is pretty awesome. Um, Alright, what do I need? I need my water, I need my torches. Um, I need to make some more torches. But I also, I had an idea. I had an idea. And this is my idea. I've heard, just from reading about enchanting and stuff, that gold items have a better enchanting rate so like if you enchant a gold item it has a better chance of getting good enchants as than uh, another item now I don't know if that's true necessarily but we're gonna try it we're gonna make a gold pick and since I have unlimited levels as long as I have patience. This is not a big deal to waste to waste these levels. Um, so my theory or my idea, I really want fortune. That's the thing I want is fortune. And I didn't get it on this diamond pick, but I can still touch the the blocks and bring them back here and use fortune on my base. And if I have a better chance of getting a good enchant on a golden pickaxe, I don't care if the fortune is on the diamond pickaxe, because I'll leave the golden one here, bring them back, and fortune them. So we'll see how this goes. One, two, no wait, fortune, F-O-R-T-U-N-E. Ah! Ah, well, it was a good idea. See, I guess that would be an awesome pick if it were diamond. It would be a great great pick for working. Oh, well. But it's a solid... I mean, that's unbreaking efficiency. I guess I think gold is less durable than anything. So it's more likely for the gold to break. But um, whatever. We'll see. I... um. I also, while I was in my skeleton grinder, I I got a couple more enchanted bow drops and managed to level up my bow to power three instead of power two, which is nice. Not like we were dying for that, but can't hurt. So what we're going to do is go back to the cave. Now that we have our inventory clear... We've got our silk touch pick, so we're not going to waste. So I'm going to keep enchanting. I'm going to keep level 30 enchanting stuff until I get... All right, this is not the cave. Is this the cave? This is the cave. I'm going to keep level 30 enchanting stuff until I get fortune. So I'm going to use silk touch for everything that um for anything that has that drops uh or or i don't know what to call it exactly anything that doesn't just 
give you one. Like, iron just gives you one iron. But, like, diamonds drop little... I don't know what to call them. They're not ore. They're, like, little pieces. Where did I go? I think I went this way. I think this is where I was. Like, diamonds and redstone. Uh, yeah. Diamonds and redstone and... Um, lapis and emeralds all drop little pieces instead of just like an ore block so what i'm gonna do is silk touch them and then whenever i get a fortune pick which i may just you know hang out afk for a little while or you know afk of my my skeleton spawner until I get a damn fortune pick. Um. Oh, here's that slime that... Oh, okay. What? Here it is. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, that was hard. Okay. This is where the diamonds were, I think. So, we're back down at diamond level. Let's see what's going on. Um, I don't know what's... These lava lakes are sort of hard to explore. Because they're kind of like... They're very branchy. And they don't they don't give you much like of a linear of a linear path to follow, which kinda stinks. But that's okay. It's where the diamonds are, it's where we're gonna go. We're not gonna We're not gonna not get the diamonds just because it's tricky. That would be dumb. Okay. There's some iron. Now let's we were here, so let's block this off. Come on, there we go. That's enough. It's blocked enough. Uh, this is home. Let me just break these so that I can tell that that's home. What's this? This is my okay. So this is home. Oh, wait, I remember now. There were diamonds. I, f <laughs> I forgot that I left a bunch of diamonds. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to silk touch the diamonds. And then whenever we... Okay, so now I'm done here. I remember... Okay, I came down a different way, actually. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I came down a different way. This is actually back. But this is also back? I'm... I did come down a different way. I came down here. Instead of through that hallway. Well, this is going to be confusing, but... This also goes back to an... Un oh, hi, coal. Alright, so... We'll silk touch the coal. So this also goes... No, this is forward. But... This looks familiar, though. Maybe it's because I was here already. This is a dead end. Why didn't I block this off? Alright, alright. I'm trying to... Oh, this is where the diamonds were. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm getting really confused, confusing myself. The diamond was down there. I'm done down there. Now I'm going to block off this section. Well, I should block it off further back. And this uh torch I don't need. So, I'm done with this whole area. Oh, hey guys. Um, that goes home. Oh, jeez, I just turned around, and now I don't know where I came from. Oh, jeez. This was where that... Oh, my God. This is where I just came from. That's the diamonds, and then that's a dead end. So this now is explored. 
Okay. Explored. Never to be seen again. And now this is up to home. Okay. Now I, I got my bearings a little bit. This is empty. I actually am going to make a little redstone torch signal here for homeward bound. Um, geez, I bring so many tools with me that my inventory like fills up immediately. That's kind of bad. At least it's mostly stackables. Uh, skeleton wear. Oh, jeez. What is this? Okay. I did not do a great job last episode of leaving myself markers. That's home. This is explored. So my only thing to do is go this way. Oh, hi. Hello, hidden lapis. Any more? So this is my only direction. Let's see what's here behind this. I have the weird. I, I get. The, I feel weirdly when there's like dirt, any kind of shovelable. I, I I feel like it's it's taking up air, and like I should clear it away to see what's behind it. Or I, I don't know. I can't explain exactly. Oh no! Bye bye. Okay. Well. I'm not exactly dying for redstone. But I feel like if I clear away the dirt, there will be valuables behind it. And I guess when you're down at diamond level, it's probably a smart thing to do. You can really clear dirt fast. And there might be diamonds behind it. You never know. You certainly never know. It just is not as fun as running around in caves finding diamonds. It almost feels like branch mining. If you really want to gather resources, what you need to do is branch mine. You know, then you get you get dirt up the wazoo and everything. You just you you get you're um, full of resources. But branch mining sucks. Well, now I say that, I've never even done it before because it seems so much like it would suck that I just never did it. I'm just, I'm not gonna ever branch mine. I said to myself. We'll see if I keep up with that at some point, I may just decide, all right, I want stuff, and I'm gonna watch a movie or whatever, watch YouTube, and branch mine. But not yet. I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, this is empty. Good. Diamonds! Hello, diamonds! Beautiful. Oh my god, come on, come on. There we go. So, let's carefully... Now, this these two levelers are... Although, actually, does this connect? Does this connect? No, it doesn't connect. Hey, wait. I've been here. Um, not sure where I am exactly kind of looped around things the caves tend to do that this looks like not many diamonds but we're gonna okay that's more than I thought oh okay awesome
Turns out, it's a solid amount of diamonds. Now what's under them? More diamonds! Whoa! With no lava? Oh, careful, careful. God, I hope a creeper doesn't jump down here with me right now. Silk touch, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch. Ten diamond ore. Well. I call this a success so far. I washed away my torch. That was silly. Okay, that's... This is just a pit. It's just a pit of... Where is that skeleton? Okay, we can close this off. This is a pit of X diamonds. Now we can go... Uh, okay, so now we came from... What? We came from here. We came from there. We came up. We explored that. We explored that. We explored... This is explored. But there's lava still. So it's not explored. Oh, and this was a... I haven't been here yet, Marker, from another part of my... Okay. From another part of my cave. And then there's that, and then that looks like the back of another I haven't been here yet, Marker. Interesting. Let's just make sure that's what that is. I just want to be 100% sure. Of, whoa! Whoa! What? Silverfish? Oh, jeez. That was... That was frightening. I just want to make 100% sure I have some idea of where I am. Some idea. So... I start off every one of my off-topic rants with so, I think. So... Last episode, I know, I was talking about Counter-Strike and esports and the state of professionalism in esports. And I was saying that Counter-Strike... Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I found my way to the back of something. So, we're gonna... Well, we're gonna stay where we are, but... I'm a little, I'm gonna end up finding places I've explored already as I go back through, and that's gonna be kinda confusing. Now this is a direction I haven't been. This is back. Wait, I, I, got, I will talk about Counter-Strike in a second. I just need to... Okay. I need to just figure out where I'm going and what's where. I'm going this way. I swear there was another direction. This way. Okay, I can go this way or that way. We're going to go that way because I'm here and I can just block this. I bet they connect. It looks like they might connect. I saw mushrooms in both places, in which case that's fine. Oops, I forgot to silk touch it. Ah! Now I'm gonna have a coal, one coal in my way. Or not. Am my inventory full already? So the one issue with this strategy, the silk touching, silk touching all the droppy. My inventory is full already. Holy crap. Silk touching all the droppy things. Is that I don't get any experience while I'm caving. Now that's fine. That is fine. Because I can get experience just fine. Um, in my skeleton grinder. But it's just gonna. It's just gonna make me spend more time there. Which is not super exciting for me. 
So, I was talking about Counter-Strike, and in the last episode I was talking about esports and how they need to be more professional and act like more television broadcast and act like real sports and blah blah blah. Okay. So, and I said, how high? And I said that um, ESEA's event was embarrassing and that I hope they weren't embarrassing again. And I watched it. I watched some of it. It's not over yet. I'm recording this pretty soon after I finished recording my last episode. Shh. Secrets. Where are you? What is... Where am I? Is this a... Did I do this? Or is this a... This is a lot of cobble. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, I just found a skeleton spawner. How did I not... I was, like, here already. Wasn't I? I guess... I mean, there's torches. There's... Alright, I'm lost now. I did the thing I was trying not to do. I got lost. I got lost. Oh, well. Let's, uh... And there's coal up here. Let us... See what's in here. Besides water. Did I just find my... I found my skeleton grinder. Holy crap. That is too funny. All right, so this should be the waterway. And this is my chest. I found my skeleton spawner. That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> and my anvil. Hey, guys. No wonder that looked weird. Well, we don't want to take up inventory space with that stuff. Whatever, I don't need it. That is too funny. Okay. So we found our skeleton spawner. We don't want to break that again. So I've already explored all this. This was when I was running around willy-nilly and I wasn't marking where I was going. So we don't want to do this anymore. So let's backtrack to where we were. I think we were here. Yeah, and let's block that off. Yeah, that was from my from my willy nilly episode. Now I'm kind of lost in willy nilly land. But hopefully, I find my bearings again. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's probably part of it. It sounds like that's part of it. Oh no, I didn't pick up my water. Where did I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's a problem. Well, hopefully we don't find any lava. When did I, when did that happen? Oh, that's really frustrating. Oh, well. I'm never going to get to my story. This game keeps being interesting. So, I was watching the tournament. And hoping it wasn't going to be embarrassing. And so, this is a six-player... This is a six-player... A six-team event. There's only six teams at this, at this event today this like this weekend they scheduled two matches to be played at the same time with the fan one of them being the fan favorite number one ranked team and then didn't show that match on stream they didn't show the favorite ninjas in pajamas for in case you're curious 
talking about esports getting mainstream acceptance, I think team names like Ninjas and Pajamas aren't going to do much for it either, but that's another story. Um, they didn't show the favorite on stream, and didn't even, like, didn't offer a second stream. They didn't do anything. They just didn't show it. And they didn't, like, that seems to be not a smart thing to do. Oh, water, awesome. Like, people, all right, is there any, any diamonds under water? That'd be funny. I understand, so there's two kinds of people that watch sports, esports and sports, but I've heard them whine about esports the most, so they're the ones that I can use as the example. There's people who watch for the competition, just they don't care who's playing, they're watching to see high level competition. And then there's people who watch for their favorites to watch the, the, their, their team. Most people who watch sports, any kind of sports, be it like baseball, basketball, football, soccer, can't you tell I'm American? Um, most people watch to watch their team. They don't watch for the spirit of the game. And they wouldn't watch anybody. They want to watch their team. And that's fair. Like, that that's totally fair. And I think that, the, it, you know, that is most people's opinion. They want to watch their team play, and then that's all they watch of that sport. Um, with esports, and then there, and then there's the people who want to watch. They love the sport so much they'll watch anybody play. And those are your like really hardcore fans. Person, I am personally that way with football, American football, the guys in tight pants tackling each other one. Um, I'll watch anybody play football. I love football. Um, and I used to be like that with baseball, but not as much anymore. Now I'm more of a, I mean, I've always been a Yankee fan, but now I really only watch the Yankees. I don't watch any other baseball. And I think that kind of fan is rare in a sport. You don't get those people very often. Most of the people that watch are the people who are watching to see their team play, and they want to watch their team. In Counter-Strike, Ninjas in Pajamas, NIP, henceforth known as NIP, um, are the best team in the world, and as a result, they're the most popular team in the world because people like to root for the, the best team and they like to root for a winner and I understand them wanting to show the other matches also but but you have to show the fan favorite you can't at a at a um at a six team weekend event you can't skip the match with the fan favorite and just not stream it just play it and not stream it that just is, is seems beyond stupid. And all the people in the chat were saying, why isn't, you know, why aren't you showing NIP? We want to see NIP. Why aren't you showing NIP? Like, why would you do that? I, that doesn't make sense to me. Why would you not show the most popular team? So that was a, the thing. So they screwed that up. I think they screwed that up pretty bad. How did I get here again? Oh, I'm so lost right now. I'm so lost right now. Ah, uh, see, I'm paying for my uh, mistake last time of not being organized. This seems like a dead end. I hope I'm not missing anything exciting. I'm gonna block this off. So the coverage of, besides that incredibly idiotic thing, the the coverage was fine. Their, their production value is improving a little bit. They didn't have a caster being a dude in his house on Skype. They had, like, people at, I don't know if, I, guess, I assume they were at the event. Maybe they weren't. But it seemed much more like, all right, am I still, yeah, okay. 
It seemed much more like they knew what they were doing, which is good. Um, I just don't understand the decision not to stream the most popular team. That just seems silly to me. <clears throat> In StarCraft, now I follow StarCraft a lot. In StarCraft, it seems like a lot of the people are really in it for the game. They're, they have favorites, they have favorite players, but really they are genuinely in it for the love of StarCraft and not to root for their players. And I don't know that that's the majority of people, but there's a lot of them. And actually that kind of surprises me, but it's good. That, that keeps... The more people that are like that, the more people are watching it, and that keeps the that keeps the sport alive. So that's always a good thing. Um, but then you get like then you have the problem of there really are people who like I personally. Well, I actually don't really watch StarCraft anymore, which I'm kind of sad about because I really enjoyed it. And I just haven't been following it as much as I wish that I like, as I as I wish I was. But that's a different story. Um, all right, this angle is all. Um, I finished this. I finished this. I want to get this coal. I think I just finished one branch of this cave. I think I did. If I missed anything, please point it out. But I think I finished this branch of the cave, which is very exciting. So I get to go back and unlock a door. Um, so those people are good. Those, like, I'll watch anybody play. They really, you know, you can count on them to watch every match and to keep the sponsors happy and all that stuff. That's great. But there's not enough of them to rely on that you need to count you need to cater I, in my opinion at least <laughs> now this is funny because I'm talking about myself so I'm saying you need to cater to me more I really think you need to cater to the people who um, who are watching it casually they're not hardcore dedicated fans that'll watch any matchup regardless of who's playing because I think those people are rare and your, your game, your sport, isn't going to survive by keeping those people happy. And you really, what you really should be doing is catering to the casual viewers, which means streaming the fan favorite team when they're playing and that kind of stuff. I think that's really important. Um, my inventory is kind of full, and I got a bunch of diamonds. I think I'm gonna go back. It's about time for the end of this episode anyway. I'm gonna head back to the surface. I'm gonna find my way back to the surface, more specifically. I'm gonna head back uh, somehow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. I'm going to head back and I am going to spend some more time in my skelly spawner. Get back up to level 30 again. And, um. I'll get back up to level 30. What? Hi. Where? Where are you? Enchant another gold pick. And, um. I hope gold can mine diamond. I'm gonna look that up, actually. Before I do that, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna enchant either an iron pick or a gold pick. Try to get fortune three. If I don't, keep caving. Well, regardless, I'm gonna keep caving. If I don't, I'm gonna do it again until I do. I'm not going to do any more caving until I get a fortune pick. Because I want to be able to use the, oh boy, use the stuff I find and mine these diamonds and then use them. And I, I'm gonna keep them as ore until I get fortune. There's no reason to not do that, in my opinion. So, oh boy. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I always appreciate you taking a little time out of your day to check out my videos. It means a lot to me that you guys are interested. If you liked it, please go down below the video and like the video because that really helps me and my channel and it makes me, besides being helpful, it also makes me happy to see that people liked it. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, um, if you subscribe, you'll get them in your YouTube feed, you'll get them in your email inbox, you'll just be swordfish all over the place, and that sounds like fun, doesn't it? I think that sounds like fun. I asked, <laughs> I asked a question earlier, and I don't remember what it was, but I wanted your opinion. So if you have an opinion about the thing I asked your opinion for, please let me know. Oh, these baby zombies are ridiculous. I need a fence around this wheat. But regardless, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. This stampede is ridiculous. Wait, I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. Bye, guys. I'll leave you with the terrible sound of, of man... Lots of cows. Lots of cows. See you next time.